What's up exiles, it's Hedgy again, and this is my fourth character after the third wipe on the beta. This is going to be an LA Ranger. In the end game, it'll be a Voltaxic, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of how the tree progressed and how the character progressed. So we picked up this first attack speed node, then we went Evasion Life all the way here, picked up Primal Spirit because I needed the Strength and Int. Flash Charges Gain is also very nice. Then we went and got Ballistic Mastery, and I was at this time I was leveling up with Burning Arrow single target with Split Arrow uh, for AOE. Then we started to make our way down to this skeleton to pick up Spirit Void. So we pretty much, after picking up Aspect of the Eagle, we beelined it to Spirit Void so that we could sustain Lightning Arrow. Around this area, I think, is when I transitioned into LA. Uh, after Spirit Void, we went towards Shadow, picked up Quickness, went left, picked up Coordination, Blood Siphon, Trickery, then we picked up Assassination, then we picked up Herbalism, and then we picked up Heartseeker. After Heartseeker, or around this time right here, I think, the first Heartseeker node, uh, I started to run into more mana problems, so we picked up Druidic Rite, and this gives you max mana, flat mana, flash charges gain, and flask increase flask effect duration. So this solved a lot of my mana problems. From there, we proceeded down to get King of the Hill so that I can knock back and get some insane crit chance. And then I needed Int, so I picked up Wisdom of the Glade so that I could curse. And then we went towards Duelist, picked up Art of the Gladiator, Insane, Bravery, and Master of the Arena. Now we're currently working our way into Lethality. Um, I need two more points to get there. And let me show you what the tree looks like over here. So it's, it's important to note, this build is going to transition into like a really fast attacking. I'm going to try to scale the lightning damage as much as possible. And the auras will change depending upon whether or not I'm using an elemental bow, or Voltaxic, or a regular Fizz bow. But we will use acrobatics for our defense. Um, we, we're not going to have too, too much life, 145. I'm hoping to use rare jewels. and Probably won't use any unique jewels. And we'll be able to get some life on there, up to 8, I believe. So we're looking at like a 153 or possibly 161. There's also one life node here we can, that we can get. It's only 4%. It's not very efficient, but it is uh, a neighboring life node. We also have the option of going profane chemistry. That's not a bad choice. But uh, we'll, we will end up going through deadly draw, picking up these attack speed nodes. And it'll all change. The auras, I'll run Herald of Thunder and I'll make sure I have quality when we go Voltaxic. But this is the current game plan. Let me give you guys a quick peek at the gear and what it looks like. We ended up buying this for about 5 chaos. Um, and puncture, pr physical projectile attack damage, point blank, and trap. This is what I use for my single target. And I curse with vulnerability so that it's really, really potent. We use rallying cry for AoE da or just damage and then mana regen. We use Herald of Ash with hatred. Uh, let me see, where is my hatred? Hatred, Vol Rain of Arrows. This is just because I found it, not because I think it's all, you know, great. It does root people or root, root a pack of mobs uh, in a pinch, but for now I'd, I'd much rather have Vol Haste or Vol Grace, but this is what we have. Summon Ice Golems linked with Fortify to make them a little extra, like, tanky. We have Faster Attacks, Blink Arrow, Added Fire. It doesn't really matter, the added fire portion. Faster attacks, weapon elemental damage, lightning arrow, and lesser multiple projectiles. Now, LMP is suffering or is buffed from live. It has less less projectile damage. So that is one plus uh, one plus side. Chain also has less less. Let's take a look at some of the rares. Uh, this one we actually found during a quest. This quiver we found on the ground. Uh, this chest we also found on the ground. We mastercrafted cold res. This was a really good ring. I saw this in uh, a trade. It was cost me around seven chaos, and then we crafted lightning res because that's what I really need. We found this off of quest reward, and Elrion got to level four, and luckily he sold me a minus eight fire resist ring. I augmented accuracy. We're gonna go ahead and wriggle it, and then put a master mod on it. 
but insane ring to have early on. It did help. I'm only running one Elrion piece of jewelry, and then this belt is nothing to write home about. But yeah, that gives you the rundown. We're now in Merciless. Uh, we're looking at a... Let's check, take a look at our resist real quick. The resists aren't great. 53, 58, 52. They can improve. We're set negative 60 chaos res. Um, let's check out our LA damage. With the ice golem, it's actually pretty respectable. I'm not running any charges at the moment. But the idea is to go crit as much lightning damage as possible, crit multiplier, and then end up making it very, very safe with Voltaxic. So we're at a 2859 lightning arrow. And look, look for this number to get higher and higher, even with chain. Anyways, that's the rundown of day one with the Lightning Arrow Ranger. Uh, I will continue to post this character's progression as we level up and as we make huge strides in the character development. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.